with me, let's fly, let's fly away. What are we talking about today? Seagull watches. Are they legit or are they crap? Hi guys, it's your boy Rich here, back at it again. And the first time I did a show covering Chinese branded watches, it was well received. But I realized it didn't include Seagull watches. And the more I learned about these watches, I'm glad it didn't. Because Seagull deserves its own show. When we think of products made in certain countries, such as made in Italy, we think quality. Made in France, quality. Made in Swiss, quality. Made in China, quality. What? What country are you from? What? What? what ain't no country I ever heard of? Okay, maybe not so much, but that's also Seagull's biggest asset, and I'll get to that. Okay, just who exactly are these guys? Boring! Okay, so we'll skip the full history lesson in lieu of a quick rundown. Seagull watches are owned by the Tianogen Seagull Watch Company, and they've been around for nearly 60 years. And one of their most popular watches is their 1963, which is a reissue of the 1963 Chinese Air Force Chronograph. And at 42 millimeters with a Seagull hand-wound movement for around $300, it represents a really nice value. And at this price point, we can also choose other watches such as a Tissot or a Movado or a Hamilton. And those are Swiss watches, yet they don't receive the same type of fanfare or love that Seagulls do. Seagulls is like a cult watch. It has a really large following and it's so beloved, and which is kind of ironic because it's coming from a country with a lot of murkiness. And yet the country that's known as the land of knockoffs is also Seagull's biggest asset. Let me explain. And when we get a Swiss watch, we expect quality. And when the watch is just that, okay, we're happy because it met that standard. Versus Seagull that comes from a country that's not known to produce luxury products. Instead, we are pleasantly surprised for a watch that is not necessarily superior to other watches, Swiss watches in its category. But it's revered and is viewed as such because we are pleasantly surprised. And therefore, a watch, if it had a Swiss label on it, might not be revered as much. So the question is, are Seagull watches legit or are they crap and only benefit from low expectations? Of course, Seagull is aware of where they come from and they take advantage of this by consistently producing quality watches. And in the process, they kind of sort of balance out China's image of poorly made products. And I can relate to this because as an Asian person, yep, no, no, it's true in case you haven't noticed. I'm very aware of my behavior whenever I shop in an expensive store because we are so quick to generalize and feed into the stereotype that I wouldn't want the next Asian customer to come in and inherit any foolishness I left behind. Hey, whoa, 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 stop this. You can't be doing that. What? Huh? What do you mean? You can't get all deep. They're not here for that. They're here for watch talk, not Dr. Phil. Come on, man, get it together. You're better than that. Oh, he's right. I'm right. My cameraman. Seagull makes their mid-level watches as well as high-end watches. And what I mean by high-end watches, I'm talking tourbillon level. Naturally, a Seagull tourbillon is going to be a lot less expensive than a Swiss-made tourbillon. But tourbillons and tourbillons aren't exactly apples and apples. So, for example, for maybe $50,000 or $60,000 for a Swiss tourbillon, we might get a basic tourbillon without any extra complications in a standard case. Or we could get a Chinese-made tourbillon finished in Switzerland in a really nice case versus a Chinese tourbillon at that same price level, we, we could get a double tourbillon or a single tourbillon with a minute repeater in a custom made case. As respected and as fancy as tourbillons are, I don't think they're really necessary. The whole point of a tourbillon is supposed to create a more accurate watch by providing that an escapement and a balance wheel in a consistently rotating cage. So when the watch is in a certain position, it is it, constantly moving to create more accuracy. But I don't think tourbillons are any more accurate than the non-tourbillon watches. Yet, they are really cool looking and very fancy. And yes, a, a real work of art. China produces 98% of the watches worldwide. And yet, they only share in 50% of the industry's revenue. Whereas the Swiss, who only produce 2% of the watches globally share in the other 50% of the industry's revenue. That math doesn't seem to make sense. But 
Swiss made means status, and the Swiss have been making luxury watches for decades. I read somewhere that Siegel owns between 20 and 25% of the market share for movements. So there's a good chance that our luxury Swiss made watch uses a Seagull movement. So there goes the argument for cheap. And even though Seagull makes their own watch brand, it's clear that it's not their core business. So to answer my earlier question, are Seagull watches legit or are they crap? The answer is Seagull watches are absolutely legit, with the caveat that in this instance, the country that it comes from is actually beneficial to them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time. So are Seagull watches... I used to speak English.